This is the most anti-American energy administration that we've ever had. And the consequence is you have the highest cost of gasoline in American history. And I, so, so let me just start at, at the most practical level. This administration, the Obama administration's high price anti-American model is very dangerous and very destructive. A rational, serious American government would have a crash program on American energy and would say our goal is to become so independent of the Middle East that we actually don't care what they do. And I have a very simple formula for that. If you want to measure what our goal is, it is to ensure that no American president ever again bows to a Saudi king. I am for closing the Environmental Protection Agency and replacing it with a brand new Environmental Solutions Agency with brand new people. <clears throat> The Environmental Solutions Agency would have to have as a first test common sense. At a time when we need more American energy to be safer in the world market, the President vetoes the Keystone Pipeline. Now think about this. This, this kills 30 to 50,000 construction jobs. It kills jobs in Houston and Galveston processing the oil and shipping it for probably 50 years. And it blocks the U.S. from having a pipeline bringing oil, which we could use in a crisis if we had, in fact, a problem in the Middle East. The Canadians are now seriously looking at a partnership with China to build the pipeline due west across the Rockies to Vancouver. And what I've said is, I, I am committed, if I end up as President of the United States, on the very first day, I will sign an executive order allowing the construction of the Keystone Pipeline so that Canada can have an American partner on January 20th, not a Chinese partner. American source of energy. And my last comment is about electricity. The EPA's current proposals for electricity are going to close so many plants that we're actually going to start having brownouts because of our own government. This is the kind of thing we have to stop. What I don't want to do is I don't want to have some bureaucrat decide between company A and company B. I mean, if they were good venture capitalists, they wouldn't be getting a GS-15 salary.